you are going home with a needle in your porta cath. Fluid or medicine therapy is infusing. The therapy will finish at home. This short video shows you how to take the needle out. First, gather your supplies. It is good to have a clean surface with a small towel or pad. You will need a syringe of saline, 0.9% sodium chloride, a syringe of heparin, two inch by two inch gauze pads, a bandage and gauze tape, alcohol prep pads. You might need an adhesive remover pad, a container to throw away the needle, a thick plastic container with a screw top lid, such as for laundry detergent, works well. A plastic bag that seals to throw away the old bag and tubing, and two pairs of clean disposable gloves. Wash your hands with soap and water and put on both pairs of gloves, one on top of the other. Then, you will close the clamp of the IV tubing by sliding the tube into the clamp. Disconnect the clear, long tube from the catheter cap. This line is connected to the used bag. The cap is connected to the needle in the port. The cap may be clear or colored. Take the end of the clear, long tube into the palm of one hand. Pull the outer glove over the end of the tube. This prevents fluid from leaking. Remove the outer pair of gloves. Place the gloves and the tubing in a plastic bag and seal the bag. Clean the catheter cap well with an alcohol prep pad for 30 seconds. Let it air dry for five seconds. Next, choose the saline syringe. If there is an air bubble in it, hold it up straight and push the air bubble out. Then, connect the saline syringe and flush. The remaining steps are shown using a patient mannequin. You connect with a twisting motion to lock the syringe. Then, push the plunger, sending the fluid into the line. When you are done, untwist and throw the syringe away. If you cannot flush easily or if you feel resistance, check the clamp. It should be open to allow smooth flow. This is what the clamp looks like when it is closed. This is what the clamp looks like when it is open. Next, flush with heparin using the same steps. Clear the air bubble if needed. Cleanse and air dry as before. Use the same twisting motion to lock the syringe, and then push the plunger to deliver the heparin. When you are done, untwist and throw the syringe away. Now you are ready to remove the dressing. Simply loosen the edges and gently pull. You may use adhesive remover if needed. Notice the kind of needle that you have. This photo shows a gripper plus needle. This photo shows a power lock needle. For the gripper plus, hold the base steady with two fingers of one hand. Use the index finger of the other hand to pull up until you hear a click. It is similar to opening the tab on a can of soda. After you hear the click, throw the needle away in the plastic container. A power lock is similar. You hold the base steady with two fingers of one hand. With two fingers of the other hand, gather the yellow wings together and then pull up until you hear a click. Again, you will throw the needle away in the plastic container. You may cover the site with a bandage or gauze and tape. If you received chemotherapy, there are rules about throwing away the used bags and tubes. Your nurse will explain what you need to do. Your nurse can also provide you with patient education sheets and show you videos for the topics that apply to you. For questions about the pump, medicine, or removing the needle, call the Ambulatory Treatment Center. If you are a pediatric patient, call the Pediatric Ambulatory Treatment Center during business hours. If after hours or the weekend, 
call the pediatric inpatient unit. For questions about your intravenous IV catheter, call the Vascular Access and Procedure Center during business hours. After hours, you may call the page operator and ask for the on-call Vascular Access and Procedures nurse.